Oh god, everything's broken. Hold on. <laughs> I think I need to re like deactivate and reactivate my capture card real quick. There we go. That's better. Uh do we want to play widescreen? Probably not, man. The PS2, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The PS2 feels weird to me on widescreen. Like the the PS2 to me is not a widescreen platform, you know? It's a it's meant to be 4x3. Anything other than that just feels weird on the PS2. I'm glad games, some games at least, support it. Because, like, say, if I was actually playing on my HDTV or something like that on the other side of the room, that could come in handy. But most of the time, man, I'm just, I don't know. Most of the time I'm playing at my computer desk anyways, and with my scaler and everything like that, like, it's just 4 by 3 That's the way it's meant to be. I tried to grab the GameCube controller. I don't think that's going to work here, guys. To be honest. Get that unwound. Okay. Hey, Rue, while I'm thinking about it, man, if you're if you're still here and you can hear me, what was the name of that uh that that GameCube game that you thought of the other day? Uh or that you were talking about the other day, the one that you want to get, but it's like two hundred dollars or something like that. The one that was like stupidly expensive. It was a action RPG with like horror elements or something like that. I think it's it was either when we were playing Phasmo or yeah, I think it's whenever it was the the group of us playing Phasmo, not the night that you joined us playing Phasmo. I couldn't remember the name of it, but I wanted to look into it a little bit more cuz I remember it, it looking really interesting whenever you mentioned it. Huh. I don't remember. But anyways, okay, let's uh let's at least get the game up and going. All the settings there look good. Square Enix, boy, let's go. See, I've spent, since Final Fantasy XIII came out, I've spent my life being angry that Square Enix stopped making JRPG games, right? They started making action RPGs with the, with the Final Fantasy series. And then I discovered the fucking Dragon Quest series. I don't know how I went, like, my whole life knowing nothing about Dragon Quest, but, like... <laughs> I'm like, this is dope, dude. I mean, it's a different style than Final Fantasy is, like, because of the art by Akira Toriyama and, and all that. And, and at least with the games I've played and seen, it seems a little bit more lighthearted for the most part than a lot of the Final Fantasy games. But it has classic Square Enix turn-based combat, even with, like, the ATB gauge and whatnot in some of them. Like, dude. Oh, it's a Wii game. Fragile Dreams, Farewell Ruins of Noon. I'm going to forget that again. <laughs> but it's for the Wii. Okay. That that explains why I uh, couldn't find... I was looking through a list of like all GameCube games, and I could not find that one. Because uh, I was like, man, if I see it, I should remember what it's called at least. And then, like I said, I was looking through the list, and I just... None of them popped out as being the one you mentioned. When I was looking through the list of GameCube games, I did see a couple uh, interesting-looking ones. Just don't ask me what they are because I can't remember. <laughs> uh, one of them started with a B. It's like B A I T O U or something. I don't remember. Oh god. So there was a couple of them that looked really cool that I had never heard of before on the GameCube that I want to look into getting, but brain, brain explode doesn't work. I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> if I pull up the list of GameCube games, I could probably remember, or I could find it real quick. I think some of them, or the other one might have been like Lost Ark. There was two of those B games, whatever the hell they were. And then I, I think Lost Ark was the other one. There was two of them as well, question mark. There's a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1 that I, uh, I probably won't try to pick up right away, but I want to pick up eventually because... I really enjoyed playing Metal Gear Solid 1 on the PlayStation 1, but a revamped version of that for the GameCube with, you know, higher res textures and models and, and slightly updated gameplay and all that. That sounds pretty dope, my guy. Scepter spoken of in lore and sealed away since days of yore. Unleashes its forbidden power. It's Square Enix, man. The music's gonna be fucking dope. And Harold's, Harold's Trodane's Darkest Hour. Technically, I'm pretty sure all of the Dragon Quest games are set in the same universe with some number of years in between them. 
Um, so like, but I don't think they're all necessarily in the proper order because I think one and two are in order, but then I think three might have been a prequel or something. I don't, I don't remember. But I, I do remember that, like, I am, uh, like, 80% sure <laughs> that they're all set in the same universe, at least. Like, it is one giant story, technically. But they're, like, set far enough apart that you don't really have to play them back-to-back -back or anything. Are the Dragon Quest games connected? The Punk Hamster? Let's go. Okay, most of them don't directly tie into each other. So any of the 11 main releases serve as a fine entry point. Okay. Oi, get up! So the first three games were pretty heavily interconnected, uh, which are the ones I played. So that makes sense why I thought they were a little bit more connected. Um... So, like, all of them are connected, but the only ones that are, like, directly connected are the first three. So, yeah, play any of them that you fucking want. Basically is what I'm seeing, which is good for us, because I'm playing it's this one whether dark. I like it or not. Much <laughs> Yangus? Yangus? Let's head into town. There's better places than this to spend an evening. Shake a leg, Gov! I think that's my cue to get up. Yes. Okay. All right. We can shift camera behind the player character. We can rotate, rotate, cancel, open, confirm, view map, change camera angle. Oh, okay. So you can use R1, L1, or right stick for the camera. X is the action button. Use it to talk to townsfolk, open door, examine objects, etc. Try using X to talk with people. Okay. I'm actually, I, I I know a lot of people don't seem to care for it, but I'm a proponent for the R1, L1 camera system. Uh, I think in, like, most modern games, you know, you there's so much stuff you can do in them <laughs> that, like, keeping the camera movement to the right stick and using R1, L1 for other things is a good idea. But if you're not using all the shoulder buttons, R1, L1 camera is pretty nice, man. I do like it. Uh, I also like the fact that it's inverted on the stick. So, like, when I press left, my character moves right. I don't like that. But the top buttons aren't. So, if I press R1, my character moves to the right. I'm a pretty big fan of that. Can we get into the settings yet? Maybe change some of those settings? Heal all tactics. Line up. I'm sure we'll learn all about that stuff eventually. Camera. Uh, inverted. Inverted. Uh, triangle to go back. Okay. There we go. Now it's better. Down is up. Up is down. Left is left. Right is right. That's how I like it, man. Okay. Let's get into the actual game. Let's talk to... What was his name again? I've probably said it before, but it beats me how you ended up working for an old codger like him. Rude. Not that I can talk, though, eh? Guess people say the same thing about me. Working for you. Why does his voice sound slightly familiar, man? Hmm. Old Codger? I do hope you're not referring to me. You'll probably notice some of the, the art looks a little bit like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. What would you know? A low I really like that, to be honest. I recognize nobility if it came up and bit you on the ass. That's Trode. Trode and guy whose name I've already forgotten. Yes, Yongus? Where's the princess? I can't see her anywhere. Wait, we were we were accompanying the princess and we lost her? <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys, you had one fucking job. How do you lose a whole princess? Is she like a small child? Uh oh. Here comes Trouble Gov. Let's fucking go. Turn-based. Got them slimes, dude. All right. Uh, we can intimidate, use tactics. We probably don't have any, like, any any real stuff yet. Abilities? No. Psych up, I'm assuming, just makes us stronger. Do we have any spells? No. Okay, so just attack. That's fine. 
Attack, and I'm assuming the same for Yongus. Yeah, okay. Just attack. Uh, I'm also going to assume, I don't know this for sure, but I'm going to assume that I'm going to automatically target a new one. Yeah, okay. Like old RPGs, a lot of times, if a character died that you were targeting um, and another character was going to attack it, that attack just misses. But most newer RPGs, well, from like, I don't know, maybe the Super Nintendo up, honestly, had the automatic retargeting thing. Three gold coins and it dropped a treasure chest. Let's go. Medicinal herbs. Uh, I mean, I'll take it. Healing's always nice. I like to well, heal sometimes. They certainly took us by surprise, but nothing we couldn't handle. Eh? You didn't do shit, Trude. Now, where's the princess? Where's my Medea? My precious one and only daughter. Medea. Okay, so we got Medea, Trude, and Yongus, and me. I'm gonna forget all of these names. I'm gonna try not to, but I'm definitely going to. Daughter, bullshit. <gasps> I, we haven't seen her yet. There you are. Oh god, it's the horse. <laughs> is it for real, or is like she hiding behind the horse? No, it's the fucking horse. <laughs> hey, hey, the horse princess is back. Oh god. I say we make a move now, before it gets dark. Remember what I said about I'm pretty sure the Dragon Quest games are a little bit uh, more lighthearted <laughs> than most Final Fantasy games. There we go. I think I think it speaks for itself at this point. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. <laughs> I was expecting like a, a little orc looking girl or something. Not a fucking horse, dude. A dude loves his horse. That's fine. You know what? That's hey. Surprised they're making the horse pull the car. I, I half expected uh, Yongus there to get strapped in and start pulling the cart <laughs> so that Medeas could could just walk around. You know, be free. Can't make the princess do this shit. nice visuals for the uh for the ps2 days it's a little bit blurry i feel like in spots but i mean again it was ps2 so what you gonna do you know now dragon quest 8 isn't available on pc but dragon quest 11 is available on pc and if i remember correctly one of the neat things about it is that you can switch between old school like 2D art, like Nintendo style art, you know, just more detailed, and then like the newer 3D models and shit like that, which is which is pretty cool. Like you can switch back and forth at will. I'm gonna post a link for it on Humble Bundle in case anyone's interested. Looks like it's currently about forty dollars for the PC version. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but I know I'm going to pick it up eventually. And of course, full disclosure, if anyone uses the link, I get a little bit of a kickback uh, on any purchases that they make. So, of course, if you're not already a fan of Dragon Quest, I don't know if uh, <laughs> you've seen enough to sell you on it. But, dude. <laughs> I need to double check and make sure that I beat Dragon Quest 3. I'm pretty sure I did, but the princess is throwing a tantrum. Or no, was she just done yes. moving for the day? Yes! Here we are. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the place. Okay, the place for what? This is the town where Master Rylus lives. Rylus, oh god, too many characters. Oh, your horse's granddad. I thought it was Dolmagus we was after. D Dolmagus? I thought we were after Rhyna? I am not your granddad. And of course Dolmagus is our man. He's the one who turned Medea and I into such laughing stocks. Oh. Okay. There we go, guys. They're not actually a small orc and a, and a horse. They're, they're nobility that have been turned into a small orc and horse. But that for sure. dastardly magician can't hide from us forever. I don't know if I believe we him, though. We must track him down and lift this confounded curse. Oh, just look at my poor Medea. And we'd only just settled on her engagement to the Prince of Argonia. Oh, that despicable Dulmagus. 
are we positive that the prince of Argonia isn't the one that cursed them <laughs> or paid for them to be cursed That's or something like that? It's imperative we locate Rylus. Silence, what's up, my guy? Him. Uh, <laughs> what happens if we just say no? <laughs> I'm so tempted to hit no. Does the game just end? Is it just like, all right, game over, good job, you beat it? <laughs> Ten bucks says, I'm waiting for it. Waiting for it. Ten bucks says what? Oh no. <laughs> Ten bucks says what? <laughs> Finish the sentence. The suspense is killing me. I'm going to say no. I'm going to see what the hell he says. That prince dude is a bad guy. Okay, okay, okay. No. Don't you see? <laughs> Rylus is the very man who taught Dulmagus his meddlesome magic. Oh, of course. Yes, yes. I, I totally knew that. I know the entire history of this universe. There's every chance Rylus will be able to give us a clue as to Dolmagus's whereabouts. That's why you must find him. I'll be waiting for you here. <laughs> so he didn't really give me an option. It's like, are you going to find this dude for me? No, nah, I don't think I will. Well, tough luck. You got to do it anyways, dude. <laughs> Fine then, Dick. But I suppose we better do what EA says. Shall we get going then, Gov? <laughs> God damn it. Saving your progress. Just go to a church and confess and your progress will be recorded in an adventure log. Make sure you remember to save whenever you decide to stop playing. Okay. What do you got, Trode? Master Rylus is the fellow who taught that a curse of Dolmegas is magic. He might be able to impart some information to us about the whereabouts of that devious scallywag. I want you to seek him out, stream. I'm sure he lives in this town. If Rhyna or whatever his name is taught Dolmegas, couldn't he lift the curse for us? Um, Medea doesn't have much to say. She's a she's a woman of few words, man. Hi, blonde trunks. Uh, you can never guess what. A horse-drawn wagon just passed by here, and there was a monster on it. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're the people who came in with it. So, y you're with the monster? <laughs> Shut up. It's good to know this, uh, this town is full of welcoming, unjudgmental people. Hmm? Travelers, are you? Well, welcome to Fairbury. I don't know what you're doing here, and I don't really care. Just keep to yourselves to just keep yourselves to yourselves and there won't be any trouble. Fair enough. Ah, customers. What What are you buying? What? You're not buying? Oh, I see. You're looking for someone. Well, you still might be short a few things, eh? Welcome to the item shop. How can I serve you? Do we have money? We do have a little bit of money. 53. There's probably nothing we really need to buy right now, though. Antidote herbs, that's pretty obvious. Chimera wing allows you to warp instantly to a selection of places you have previously visited. That's pretty dope. Plain clothes. Uh, that would actually take Yongus's defense down, so we probably don't want that. Well, uh, we'll, we'll wait. We'll come back to the shops later. Do you know anything? Are you the same? You have the same symbol. Do you sell different shit? You know, something's been bothering me. There was a strange man here the other day. He was dressed like a jester, so I thought maybe he was some kind of traveling entertainer, but there was something creepy about him. I wonder if he's still in town. Couldn't tell you, my man. I have no idea. Are you going to, like... Oh, you're not going to, like, sell me stuff or anything? Why do you have this stall here if you're not going to sell me shit, dude? Is there, is there a day-night cycle? Oh, no. Oh, no. When I fix the stick... It inverts the shoulder buttons. Oh, that's gross. Why? <laughs> I was so excited to start using the shoulder buttons again. Oh, and this isn't inverted either. Oh, no. Oh, but the right and left is inverted here? What is this game? I take it back. This game is trash. <laughs> hey, old man. Got any, 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 any news for us? Second time, you know. The second time I've lost a friend in a fire. If I remember rightly, the first time it happened... I was 30. You can never be too careful with fire, you know? Bro, you're awfully chill for your friend supposedly just dying in a fire. Hi, kitty. Meow. I'm assuming this is the fire he was talking about. Can I loot it? 
Doesn't look like it. We, like... Oh, that's a map. This is the menu. Look, I'm still trying to figure out the buttons. Triangle does nothing. Okay. I don't think I can loot these things. At least not yet. Can I throw it like Zelda? Yeah, dude. Four gold coins worth it. What about the, the box? No, just the... Just the jugs. Hello, good sir. I'm assuming you sell defensive shit? Yeah. Bandit grass skirt. Wayfarer's clothes. Leather armor. I'm assuming, yeah, we don't have money for any of this shit. Leather hat, leather shield. We'll be back when I'm not broke. Maybe. Depending what we find out in the wild, I guess. This is an inn. Uh, the inn probably lets us heal. It's kind of standard JRPG fare there. Will they get angry if we start breaking their shit, though? No, they don't seem to care. That's good. I've been known to break a lot of shit. Can't believe it. After all this time. Oh, excuse me. My troubles are no concern of yours. Don't mind me. Uh, I don't mind. Nope, not gonna tell me more? Okay. Welcome to the Weary Wanderer, Fab Fairberry's finest inn. I'm afraid we're just cleaning the rooms at the moment. Would you mind coming back a little later? What's wrong with the rooms, dude? Wait, is it just one shared room? Can I loot the chest? I can't. No one mind me. I'm just stealing everything I can find. Find a chimera wing. Puts it in the bag. Cypress stick? I don't even know what that's for, but... It's a quarterly journal called King of Adventure. Getting ready to head out on your first exciting journey into this wonderful world of ours? Here's a tip for all of you novice explorers. On your travels, always keep an eye out for treasure chests in unexpected places. Who left them there? Who cares? It's finder's keeper in the wild world of adventuring. <laughs> See someone else's shit? Just take it, man. It's fine. <laughs> That's the law of the land right there. Think of them as divine gifts from the great goddess placed there just for you. In any event, you'll find plenty of interesting loot in treasure chests, so keep your senses sharp and your eyes peeled. Nothing there. Can I go through people's bags? <laughs> I can't. I can literally just fucking steal everything, dude. Let's go. Like, these are hung up bags. I'm assuming from the people like that are sleeping over here and shit, just hanging on the wall, and we're just putting our hands right down in there. Whatever we find, it's ours. Stealing someone's clothes? That's good. A file of holy water? Hello, little girl. Welcome to the Weary Wanderer. Fa Fairberry's oldest inn. I'm here to make your travels more comfortable and explain a few things. Any seasoned traveler would know it already, of course, but if you've only just set out, it might be useful. Would you like to hear it? I probably don't need to, but I'm sure. X is a really useful button that lets you do all sorts of things, like chat to people and pick up or examine objects. I mean, I chatted with you by pressing X, so presumably I know how to do that. Can examine everything in this room just using that one button. The wardrobes, the sacks on the wall, the treasure chest, the bookshelves, everything. <laughs> Feel free to take anything you like. It's all there for the customers. Oh, okay. Okay, so they, they put that shit here to help people that come in. Even though I'm not technically a customer, they're like, look, maybe if we let you steal some shit, You'll sleep here for a bit. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. It's always useful when you're traveling to new towns and villages to have a look at the map when you arrive, just to get your bearings. Oh, and pressing R2 allows you to look at things through your own eyes. Just press it again to switch back to normal. It's really useful when you want to examine things that are very close to you, or if you want to look down at the ground or up in the sky. And, er, that's about everything I can tell you, I think. There's lots more to learn, but I'm sure you'll work it out for yourself along the way. Don't forget that really useful button I told you about at the beginning, and enjoy your adventures. I shall, creepy little girl. Who are you, old man? It's precisely because we'd heard such fine things about this called Calderasha fella that we came all the way here. But it's utter rubbish. Calderasha? More like Balder Dasher. <laughs> okay, he's a useless layabout. If it's true that he was once great, it must have been a great many years ago. How could anyone be so spiteful? He said, I'll never see it again, my precious ring. And then do you know what he said? He said, even if I did find it again, it wouldn't go over my fat finger. <laughs> oh, I need to meet this balderdasher dude. Never been so insulted in my life, you poor thing. 
how will you ever survive? None of the books look any good. I, I don't want to talk to you again. Go away, lady. Let's take a look at the map. So, we got an inn, the armor shop, another building, which there may or may not be anything in. A pub, a well, a place to buy weapons, I presume, and the church. Let's, uh, I don't know, check out that other building, see if we can actually go in it. I don't know if this game has, like, explorable buildings or if it's only the important ones, like the inn. Like this one here, can we actually go in it? We can. Can I just steal shit from random people's houses? Hello, lady. Honestly, a jester? If that man was a jester, I'll eat my hat. If he'd shown us any decent tricks, that would have been one thing, but all he did was teach the kids a load of mumbo-jumbo. He was a trickster, all right, but no jester. What kind of mumbo-jumbo? Any interesting mumbo-jumbo? I'm gonna go through your wardrobe <laughs> real quick, lady. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Too bad you're poor. Uh, how about I break your barrels and steal your gold coins? Is that okay? Yeah, she don't mind. She doesn't care. That's fine. Um, What's this back door go to? Is that another door to the end that I just didn't see? Or... Oh no, I'm behind the counter now. Can I go through more of your shit? Bag on the wall. Three gold coins. Suck it, nerd. Ha ha ha, how funny. That's the back door you came through. Y yes, yes, I, I came in the back door. <laughs> I'm sorry, guy. I'll leave now. <laughs> Hello, you. Welcome to Fairberry. Are you here looking for that key, too? No. Of course not, I understand. You can't go telling everyone. Uh, yes, I am. I knew it. You've got that look about you. It's written all over your fa faces, especially the stocky one. Eh, you talking about me? What right written on me face? Who's gone and written on me head? Oh god, I can't do it, man. You're thieves. You're looking for the thief's key. I could tell as soon as I laid eyes on you. The thief's key? Does that, like, unlock any door for us or something? That would presumably be pretty helpful of a thing to have. Nothing interesting back there that I can tell. Let's uh go into the weapon shop. I'm sure that's where a magician would hang out all day. You look fancy. <laughs> Welcome to the weapon shop. What can I do for you? Oh, cypress sticks are a weapon. A very weak weapon, it looks like, considering our attack goes down by four if we equip it. Giant mallet, copper sword, boomerang? Well... I don't need any of that shit right now. I'm looking for a magician, though. I don't suppose you've seen one around here anywhere, have you? It's the Jester. That's who we're looking for. The Jester is the... the guy that we want. I'm calling it. Aha, I came in your back door. What now? Treasure chest is locked. Treasure chest is locked. What's your problem? What are you doing coming in the back way, eh? The front door's around the other side. You must be new to this game, eh? Uh, yeah. I knew it. How about I give you a few pointers to get you started then? Listen, having a load of weapons and armor knocking about in your bag won't you do you no good. Gotta equip yourself with them. That's some good advice, my guy. Thank you. Play this game like it's baby's first RPG. Uh, so this is the pub. What's this building? This building didn't have anything on it, did it? I mean, we're gonna go in it. Is it just another random person's house that I can ransack and steal from? Hello. Ah, two of you here. Don't mind me. Is there anything I can steal from you? No time for a chat. I'm far too busy. If I don't get on with cooking, dinner's gonna be late. Who are you anyway? If you're looking for my husband, he's just over there. Yeah, I'm totally looking for your husband and not here to just break your shit. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm, I don't want to talk to you again, lady. What do you got in your covers? 20 gold coins. This family's loaded. Let's go. All right, Mr. Husband, sir. Can't believe called Arasha. What's happened to him? He was never like this before. It's such a shame for poor Valenta, v Valentina. Called Arasha. Who was called Arasha? Cold? Why, why are you putting a bunch of cold emojis? Are you cold? Valentina? <laughs> Not from, uh... <laughs> Oh god, what, uh, Kerbal Space Program, not the Kerbal, Valentina. <laughs> you never explained all the cold emojis, though. Hick, just the one after work, really. Hick, hits the spot, So, <laughs> What do you want with me, then? Eh, you're looking for someone. Get out of here, what are you boring me with that rubbish? This is a pub, you're supposed to relax. If you're too tense, have a drink or let it all out on the battlefield. At least you can put your attention to good use out there, you know? If you psych yourself up enough, your attacks and magic get more powerful. So save it for fighting, all right? Remember, increasing your attention by psyching up. Decrease it by having a drink. Okay. Heard about the fire we had in the town the other day? People were saying it was arson. Oops, that's a bit of a hot topic. We'd better not talk about it anymore. Yeah, I would hate for anyone to know that we're talking about a local fire. Oh, I love seeing new faces. You're not from around here, are you? Is that little creature in your pocket a pet of yours? It's so adorable. What's its name? Tee hee hee munchie. Dude. I could use some munchies. <laughs> a cute name for a cute little fellow. Well, munchie, enjoy your stay. Doesn't even care about me. All she cares about is my little my little rat, dude. He's a miserable excuse for a fortune teller, that Cauterasha. He was famous once, you know. They called him the Great Cauterasha. But look at him now. His fortune telling's gone to pot since he started spending every day in here. The only glass he stares into these days is the one he drinks out of. No, wait a minute. Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe he started drinking after his fortune telling went to the dogs. I mean, that would explain why he's, like, drowning himself in drink. Hello, are you looking for someone? Yes. Master Rylus, so you haven't heard. Master Rylus died in the fire the other... Oh. My. God. What are we gonna do? He's dead. Actually, just between you and me, I think he was murder. Oops. I shouldn't have said that. Forget I mentioned it. He was murder. He wasn't murdered. He was murder itself. Murder incarnate. Haven't you had enough, Mr. Calderasha, sir? I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run. This, uh, haphazard fortune telling of yours is costing me a fortune in free drinks. He looks like a skinny Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball Z. What? My fortune telling? Haphazard? Are you a complete fool? Let me tell you something for free. All fortune telling is haphazard. What do you expect? Anyway, so what if I saw it? So what if I foretold the fire? If I tried to stop it, then what? It would only have led to another disaster. That's what. One of those situations, yep, yep. I'm sorry, Mr. Calderasha, sir. I don't follow. If you're saying you knew about the fire, shouldn't you at least have warned Master Rylus? Yes, poor Rylus. How many times I argued with the old man. I cannot believe he's gone. Did he start the fire? I mean, he has fire on his robes. Kind of feel like it's his fault. The barman sighs. Okay. So much for trying to run a business here, dude. Won't even sell me a drink. What? What is it? Hmm. You come show your face. To the great Calderasha. Yes. Yes. Dude's a little bit creepy. <laughs> just, just a wee bit creepy. Quick! Quick! Everyone come quick! There's a monster in town! 
Isn't that the guy that just called me and the dudes I came in with a monster? Oh god, is he talking about Trode? Just come and see! The whole town's gone crazy! He might be talking about Trode. <laughs> this dude is fucking weird, yes. Yes, he is. Did you hear that? He said there was a monster in town. Do you think it's true? No. Oh, great, please don't be fucking with the old man. <laughs> oh, God. They're going to have, like, Troge strung up somewhere, dude. Is there anything else to see? Anything else to do? I mean, I guess the only place we didn't really check out was the, uh... The church. And screaming and shouting in the courtyard. Do you know what's going on? No. No, me neither. I wonder what it's all about. Uh, why don't you just walk over and check then, my guy? You're like right here. It's 20 steps away. You could see for yourself. This ain't good, Gav. Come on! Look lively! <laughs> I love the delayed, like, astonish on my face, man. Just like... <laughs> Some of a bitch it is him, ain't it? Called it. I fucking knew it, dude. He looked at me! Oh, it's hideous! <laughs> Poor little guy. <laughs> Get out! Get out, monster! You're not welcome here! <laughs> you throwing rocks at him. Holy shit, dude. Oh, they're pissing off Medea, dude. Holy shit, dude. This is straight random out of town. I need a scrub daddy sponsorship. <laughs> How about a sugar daddy sponsorship, man? I'll take a sugar daddy sponsorship. I mean, if scrub daddy wants to pay me, well, to, that was a fine to, and I mean, I wouldn't turn it down. They can be my uh, my sugar daddy, my my sugar scrub. Isn't that a thing? Like, don't they have? <laughs> you ass! I drink a tea when you said that. <laughs> Isn't like a sugar scrub like a thing that you use to like exfoliate your skin or something like that? So they can be my, my sugar scrub daddy. I'm shaking my head. I don't have my camera set up yet. I need to just pick a green screen already and bite the bullet, man. I'm going to get one real soon. But all of the scrub daddy products. Don't you have like 90% of them at this point? Do you realize who I am? No. No, they don't. You look like a troll, dude. <laughs> Judging a book by its cover, don't they know it's what's inside that counts? Yeah, you can say that again. So then, did you manage to find Master Rylus? What's the screen, Daddy? Power paste? What? These just, you're making things up now. Uh, I mean, kind of. He's dead. What? He's dead? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Well, uh, I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. It's Dormagus we're after. He's the one who cursed the princess and I, after all. He's the one who made us look so ridiculous. I had hoped Rylus might be able to help us locate him. But it seems we'll just have to track Dormagus down by ourselves. I mean, if he's that great of a mage, it couldn't be that hard to find him, right? With Rylus gone... We have nothing further to gain from staying here. Let's be on our way. It's a little thing for your phone, basically. Remember when we had those straight talk ones years ago? Do you mean just like a, a glass wipe? It's just a glass wipe? Wait. Please wait. I'm sorry to come running after you like this. It's just that I wanted to ask you a favor. Who, who are you? Maybe introduce yourself first. Not afraid of me, young lady. I dreamt about you. Oh shit. 
<laughs> what kind of dreams there? <laughs> I dreamt that some people came to town with a strange creature. It was sort of halfway between a human and a monster. Okay, okay. And I dreamt that they could make wishes come true. Uh... A strange creature? <laughs> Are you referring to me? I look at yourself, my dude. I think she's being polite right now. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. I think the lady's sincere. <laughs> Not to worry. I've had worse things said to me today. You know, you remind me of my Medea. You're about... Anyway, uh, you say you had a dream about me. Most peculiar. And before she says it's actually about us, the main character. I'm sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Valentina. Ah, I'm Valentina. The there we go. Fortune teller, Calda Russia. If you could just come to my house, I'll explain everything there. It's by the well at the far end of town. I'll be waiting for you. Actually, you did spoil the game, and uh, no spoilers, my guy, because I plan on finishing this. Well, One of them is only half about? human. Okay, I guess that's okay. <laughs> she says. Magnificent! She wasn't afraid to look at me at all. Not one bit. Oh, she reminds me of my Medea. We must give this young girl a helping hand. Right then, my boy. Go and find the house by the well and see what it is she wants. Hmm? Me? I'll wait here with the princess. We don't want to cause any more of a stir. I've watched too much anime, man. I, I keep expecting things to take, like, a perverted turn. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But so far, everything's been really chill. But, like, I just, it's too much anime. That's all it is. Like, honestly, fair, though. <laughs> oh. I mean, like, they don't really do it in Dragon Ball Z. Um, not, th I mean, I guess you have, like, Master Roshi and shit, so maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> But, like, it's not nearly as bad as a lot of other anime, at least. So, like, maybe I shouldn't expect it, but for some reason I kind of expect it. La 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 la, let me tell you a tale. Uh -huh. There stands a castle here, about devoured by thorns and gutted out. La 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 la, and from the ruins walked away a single soul, or so they say. Or was it three? Well, anyway, it wasn't good. That, that was a hell of a song, my guy. Good job. Uh, this is... So, wait, that's the church... Where's the well? The back corner. Okay. Should we save? We should probably go ahead and save. It's actually been... Between us picking a game and playing the game, it's been an hour already. Over an hour. Holy hell. Maybe I'd had a, a bit too much. You know, I've been thinking. First, that weird clown. And now that green monster. There's a lot of strange things going on. If you ask me, it's an omen. Some, something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, the whole world's probably gonna go to shit real soon, my guy. And for some reason, I'll be the only one that can save it. Me and, me and, uh, Yon Mega. What's his name? <laughs> I don't, I can never remember. Welcome to the house of the goddess. How may I assist you at such a least hour? Benediction? I don't know that word. What is benediction? Oh, lift a curse. Okay. Purification. I'm assuming, like, we're poisoned or something. Resurrection. Pretty self-explanatory if someone's dead. Divination. Goddess gives me insight. Faithful servant stream. The Almighty One declares you need 14 experience points to reach the next level. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Because in the original games, if you went and talked to the king, the king would let you save as well as tell you how close you were to leveling up. So. Yes, I would like to save, my guy. Uh, just save over the original one, that's fine. Hell yeah. Successfully recorded your adventure log. Do you plan to continue on your adventure at this point? Yes. May the goddess be with you. I hope to see you. I didn't read the rest of what she said. 
I don't think you have anything in here to steal. So <laughs> Apparently the game designers didn't want you stealing from the church, which I mean, fair, I guess. Even I, someone not much of a churchgoer, <laughs> doesn't think it's quite right to steal from the... Bro, we just jumped down the well? There's a chest in the well? What? <laughs> Stream finds a leather shield and puts in the... Let's go, dude! <laughs> oh, we can talk to him? He has nothing to say. Okay. Oh... Neat. Okay, we can get some. We got like a bestiary and some some information about our travels and shit. When we press select. Uh, how do we? How do we equip shit? It's like I saw we got that shield. Tactics. Follow orders is fine. Wait, can we put them like on? Don't use magic, get psyched up. Just follow orders, I guess. But we can have them, like, uh, auto-fight, essentially. Okay, equipment. Don't equip. Excuse me. D did we not just get a shield? Maybe. May okay, hold on. Maybe only Yangus can equip it. What? <laughs> Ba oh, it's in our bag. Okay. Uh, transfer. Oh God, it actually makes us like think <laughs> about our inventory. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and equip the shield. I mean, we'll we'll get used to it, but I guess I'm just used to like more modern RPGs where they don't make you go into that much detail with that sort of thing. You know, it all just kind of works. You just have one big inventory that everyone has access to. Uh, before you wake up, can I rob you? You got some clothes, uh, things. Wardrobes, that's what they're called. Couple simple beds. Really fancy divination room here or whatever. Is your dad home? No? Okay. Hey, four gold coins. Thank you. Thank you. And nothing else. Wow, dude. Y'all kind of suck. Do you have anything hiding in these pots? Seven more gold coins. Why do people just hide their gold in, in pots and barrels, man? I did. I'm so sorry. I, I must have drifted off. How rude of me. Ah, uh, you're okay. I wanted to ask you a favor about this crystal ball. Take it out back and smash it. Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps I should start from the beginning? That would be helpful, of yes. Of course. Let me explain. My father, Galdarasha, was once a really famous fortune teller. So I've heard. Lost treasure, missing people. There was nothing the great Kaldarasha couldn't help people with. But then one day, he lost his powers. All of a sudden, nothing he foretold turned out to be true anymore. It's probably because he stopped using a real crystal ball. This glass ball isn't... <gasps> Valentina, what is going on here? How many times have I told you not to touch my crystal ball? Why would he not know that? Like, why would she know that but not him? And if he does know that, then why wouldn't he suspect that? Like, does what? he not want to tell fortunes Aren't anymore? Like, from the properly? Pub? What brings you here? Yeah, never mind. I do not know what my daughter has asked you, but you can forget it. I do not need your help. I am fine as I am. Because he's a drunk bastard. I mean, maybe my guess, and this is just a guess, is that he saw something and tried to change the outcome for like the better of everything. 
but for some reason like maybe someone died maybe it was his wife her mother or something like that like he caused inadvertently caused something bad to happen so he like swore off fortune telling sold the crystal ball got a glass one and now just drank away his his money his fortune that's my guess but i i uh i am going to bed valentina say your farewells and show our young visitor to the door i i mean look <laughs> the door the one right behind you my guy i don't <laughs> i'm sure you're just being polite but i don't think i need shown the way out it's like uh, hey, can you just I'm like take five steps forward father. that's uh that's the door the one you just came through moments ago yep yep just right there but whatever he says he's the one who's really suffering since he lost his powers that's why I wanted to ask you this favor. Can you find him a crystal ball? One that's big enough to bring back his powers? Find your dad some giant balls, gotcha. Really? You will? Oh, this is exactly how it all happened in my dream. So far, everything's come true. I also dreamt that there's a crystal ball hidden deep inside the cave under the big waterfall to the south of town. I suppose only the daughter of the great Kaldarasha could know a thing like that. He's psychic too? It's kind of the vibes that I'm getting. And I'm assuming if we get the crystal ball, he gets his powers back, and then he can tell us where Dalmagus. Dal Dalmagus? Dalmagus? I don't know. The dude who did the thing to Trode. <laughs> if we find the ball, maybe we can uh, maybe we can find him. Does this take us out of town too, or is this like another part of town? We never went through this door earlier. It's taking a sweet time loading. Come on. Did we break the game? There it goes. Holy hell. Hmm, I see. Magnificent! Such devotion to her father. I'm impressed. Just how a daughter should be. And if this Calderasha gets his powers back, there's nothing he can't find, am I right? Then we'll kill two birds with one stone. If everything goes according to plan, we'll find out where that hateful Dolmagus is. The time's getting on guy's personality is all about being a dad and it shows you he's he's definitely devoted to his horse daughter <laughs> and I will stay outside that's the last time we set foot in a barbaric town like this but you should spend the night at the inn and rest well so that you're ready to take on the world tomorrow in the morning we leave for the waterfall cave I mean while IRL mean could really use a nap I think in-game me's fine if you just want to like <laughs> just want to go ahead and take us to the waterfall now my guy morning did you have a good rest I suppose it was dark so I can't be sure but I think the little old man you came with slept in his wagon outside the town gates last night anyways have a safe trip uh thanks <laughs> You need to be heading to bed yourself. I feel it, dude. I really do. I I was just beat today. I don't know why. Like, my watch uh, says that I got over seven hours of sleep, which technically I didn't, like, look at the breakdown for how much deep sleep and all that that I got. But technically, that's, like, one of the best sleeps I've had or longest sleeps I've had in weeks. But I'm still just, like, fucking beat, man. Just tired. But yeah, if you need to go, man, feel free. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a little bit. And have a good night, man. May your sleep be better than me. Just rub your fancy new watch and doodle space. You're getting one, too. Shut up. <laughs> it's only a puny little thing. I felt quite sorry for you. Yeah, I bet you were one of the runs throwing rocks, lady. <laughs> Say you feel bad for it now, and then you pick up a stone and throw at it. It. <laughs> trode. Throw a trode. Here I am now, becoming one of the townsfolk, just <laughs> calling my friends it's. Ah, oh, you're travelers, eh? Just like me. Always best not to ask travelers where they're going, I say. We all have our own personal reasons, after all. 
Now that all the disturbances have died down, I've decided to open up the south gate here. Does that mean we can leave through here? At this point, you're not so sure. It's coming. You know it's coming. It's due in, like, within a week. <laughs> like, chill, bro. Night, guys. Night, real. Thank you again, man. I really do appreciate you coming out for a bit. I stream. I was starting to think you'd get lost. Right. Let's go to the waterfall cave and see if we can find that crystal ball. But Dee and I will be right behind you. If you have any trouble, feel free to consult us. I'm sure there's nothing we can't solve if we put our heads together. And away we go. May take damage from battling monsters. Such damage reduce your HP. Spells cost MP. Return to the inn to heal. Do we have like an overworld map? We do not. At least not yet. Presumably that's something we can get later on. <sighs> Sorry. Excuse me, man. Oh, random, uh, random encounters. Okay. Ellipse appears. <laughs> this thing is literally called lips. <laughs> I mean. I wonder why. <laughs> Do six points of damage to the lips. The lips is defeated. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> what is that thing? It's just a giant pair of dick sucking lips. And we beat the shit out of them. I love it. We're going completely the wrong direction. I do know this. But uh, not only am I curious about the creatures we'll come across, but I also just want to make sure there's like nothing I can find. A bunnicorn? Hi, bunnicorn. I don't think it's like a Mario RPG games or anything where you can press the action button at a specific time to do more damage. I don't think that mechanics is in this game. 5 EXP, 5 gold, thank you kindly. Chest, that's what we're here for, dude. That's why we explore and it's locked. Yeah, I'm assuming like the the thief's uh, key. Maybe it doesn't let us into buildings, but I bet it opens up that stuff. All of the random locked chests and things around the world. Can't wait until we get a heal spell. Hey, level two, let's go, dude. Maximum HP increased by two. Gained one strength, one resilience, and we all got five gold. So if chests are gonna be locked, I guess there's not a whole lot of point to exploring at the moment. I also don't know for sure, but I'm thinking maybe like traveling by road would be safer. Less random encounters. Possibly. We don't have any abilities yet, right? No. Okay. What we need to find is like a silver slime or a gold slime or something. We probably couldn't kill it fast enough. But they drop loads of... Is it experience or gold? Maybe both. It's been a couple years since I played the other games. Level two. HP increased by three. One strength, one agility, and one wisdom. And three gold coins. Oh, there's a horse. Hello, horse. Are you also a princess? I'm going to choose to believe that they are secretly a princess as well. Capuchons? Are these peppers on a skewer? <laughs> what is... What is this? <laughs> like, the giant pair of lips, man. Like, I understood that, right? Like, it's weird. But it's just a random, a random creature that exists in this world or whatever. That's fine. But you can't tell me two random peppers skewered together are a thing that just naturally occur in this world. Was somebody making dinner one night and these things just came to life and ran out of the kitchen started attacking people? Where the hell does that come from? Right, can we uh, heal up out of battle? I'm assuming we can. 
sure. We hope you realize that the princess and I have no intention of setting foot in that cave. We are royals after all. We can't go putting ourselves in danger like that. So I'm relying on you to find the crystal ball. That's fun. Nah, once you see where you're headed, just forget about the path and go straight there. No messing. I eat, so there might be a few more monsters, but a real man don't need to worry about that. Yeah, so it sounds like, like I was saying before, thinking before, if you go off path, you come across more monsters. I don't know how much HP the medicinal herb actually uses. We might be wasting it by using it already. Can we sort stuff? Oh, Square just like goes back out. Don't you know better than to ask questions? <laughs> I'm curious about the lore of the game, man. I want to know where the weird pepper people came from. the floor slime floor floor slime like i said i'm tired i can't talk flopper <laughs> slime bee attacks oh by this by by this way oh like i was just saying by the way this game is 100 percent going on the games to complete list uh i'm not gonna have it enabled until we beat one more short game after metal gear solid uh but it's definitely going on there just fair warning to anyone who's still around. Uh, this game is like 80 hours long or something like that. So <laughs> it's going to take a little while for us to beat it. Whenever I looked it up, I think the completionist time was like 120 hours. But I don't know for sure if we'll do a completionist run or just a regular one. Candy Cat? Hello, Candy Kitties. For these bigger battles, I wonder if it would be worth it to, uh, to psych ourselves up for a bit. And then start attacking. We're gonna do a test. I'm gonna psych myself up. And then attack and just see how much of a difference it makes in our attack power. So I was doing about 6 damage. He was doing 7 or 8 damage. Tension increases by 5. So that's like a whole nother stat. Oh, 11 damage. Okay. So unless that was just a random critical hit. Uh, that's pretty big, man. Damn near doubled our, our damage output. Wait, where's this waterfall? Here's the stream. I think there's a bridge over there. Maybe we need to go over to to the bridge. She did say the south end of town, right? Or to, or to the south of town? Fairly certain that's what she said. Is there cursor memory? That's another good question. <laughs> no, there's not. Okay. So I can't just mash the uh, X button and have it do the same thing over and over again. That's something that I really like in the Final Fantasy games. Oh, my tension returned to normal. So the psych ups for like one big attack. Wait, if I'm doing six damage on average, so two two hits would do 12. So I guess it's not worth it to psych up then? I was excited for a moment. Hello, random guards. I don't suppose you'll let me through this year gate, will you? Candy cat, a capuchin, and a bunicorn. Uh, I guess just just start murdering things? Is there an order we should be doing? Okay, candy cat down. Cast... Is that sap or snap? I didn't read it quick enough. Oh god, the bunicorns are actually doing some, like, real damage. Oh god. <laughs> I need to heal, dude. Uh... I hope... I don't know... But I hope the healing takes effect immediately. 
It does not. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> that's that's fine. We're we're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> God. We're gonna die to a couple bunny rabbits. We did get one of those uh, teleportation things. So we can probably teleport back to town real quick. Oh, that was a good a good amount of experience that we missed out on, sadly. Or I missed out on. The main character missed out on. Okay. Um, you know what? Taking a risk here. I want to talk to these guys real quick. It's been a fire in Fairberry. They think it might be arson, so I'm under orders to keep the gate closed to prevent the culprit escape. Travelers, are you sorry? But I'm under orders not to let anyone through. You'll have to turn back. Okay. So there may be another way. Maybe I missed the waterfall. Um. Oh, we have. Oh, that's what holy water does. Let's go ahead and use this. Go back to Fairberry. We need to get ourselves resurrected and buy some healing items, obviously. <laughs> the fucking coffin, dude. When we walk into town together, instead of just like not having the other party member there, it has a uh, fucking coffin in Stream's place. That's great. There's stairs, yeah, right here. Uh, we don't have money for all that stuff. What are you doing? You're a traveler, aren't you? Please go inside. The priest will take your confession personally. I only take confessions at night. I gotcha. Priests do good to stay up all night, listening to people's woes. Hello. You know, a man died here in a fire just recently. I thought I'd say a prayer for the poor fellow. He's quite a looker, you know, and the heir to a great sage, apparently. Hmm. You don't say. Oh, we can rob the church. Maybe. Appears to be an old journal of some kind. The great wizards finally reached Fairberry after a long and arduous journey. Welcoming such a great sage to our town is a truly unparalleled honor. Long may the sage and his descendants stay in the town of Fairberry. Huzzah. Pretty lame journal. Hey, medicinal herbs. Thanks, thanks. Appreciate that. What else do we got? This is the priest's room? Oh, dude, there's all kinds of shit in here. Let's go. A pot lid. I'm assuming that's another type of shield that we can use. Okay, so items, bag, uh, no, wait, go, I thought that would, oh, sort bags, okay, organize just lets us move stuff around more easily, gotcha, hot lid, transfer, Yongus, equip, yes. Uh, back. There we go. We're getting there. It's locked. Of course it's locked. I need that damn key. What are the chances we find the thief's key here? In the church. Can I ring the bell? Confuse the hell out of some people? How do I get out of here? Help. Maybe the door. Alright, priest. I'm done robbing you. Can you take my, my confession now? Faithful servant of the goddess. I would like you to resurrect. Stream. Ten gold. <sighs> Healthcare, man.
Does he come back with full health by any chance? He does, hell yeah. Uh, save. In case we do actually get a game over. I don't believe this game has any kind of like quick saves or anything like that, so. I'm pretty sure once you die, it's just GG start over. Kind of to be expected, though. A lot of these older... Fuck it. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit no, man. I meant to hit yes. I want to continue playing. That's fine. It's time for us to take a short break anyways. I need to stand up and stretch real quick. Wake myself up a bit, get a drink, do all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the break screen. We'll be back in like three to five minutes with a bit more Dragon Quest V, man. Probably another like uh, at least another half hour. BRB. the difference heaven let's go heaven okay uh 670 points maybe i don't know if i got it uh but anyway so i've actually seen a lot of different christian bands in concert but uh like yeah the bands aren't always bad like some of them were pretty decent wait did it say i just got mana from heaven wait why would I pass control? Why wouldn't I just keep going? Okay, 45, that's like the third lowest one on there. Like, I suck. Destroy Pharaoh's snakes. Press the X button to fire your snakes at the Pharaoh's cobras. Don't they tell you not to do that in church? Like, not to fire your snake off? Especially at Pharaoh's cobras. That just sounds like a bad, bad time, man. I don't know if you should do that. Use your character to avoid getting hit by the cobra. Skillet and Flyleaf are cool. Yeah, I don't have any problems with either one of them. Uh, okay, so... Wait. Why do they even look like little sperm that we're throwing? Anybody? Like, what's up with that? Like, that's just weird as hell. I don't... Uh... Somebody shoot the Cobras? Are, is, is there like different amounts of points for different colors or something? Am I am I playing this right? Are there more points for getting like bigger ones? Do we just want to like rapid fire? I'm like pressing the button as fast as I can. There doesn't seem to be any penalty for getting hit other than freezing up for a second. Also like I straight up lost that, didn't I? Like holy shit, dude. Why am I so bad? <clears throat> like, I feel like we did okay before. Uh, well, at least on the first game. I mean, okay, I'm technically winning, but I'm also the only person that's actually played yet. Like, do you want to try my Pepsi? What flavor was this? Was it just the regular nitro, or was it nitro something? Like, no, because you already had the vanilla one, right? So it must just be the regular one. Like, again, why not just keep playing? Why would you ever pass control? I don't really... I don't really get... Why? Oh, it's trivia, dude. Let's go. Nitro Pepsi. So literally just regular Pepsi. Nitro Pepsi. Okay. Uh, I mean, okay. Who did Joshua succeed as the leader and prophet in Israel? Bro, I'll be honest. Like, I don't remember any of this shit. Uh, Moses. It's definitely Billy Bob. Bro, look at that. Look at that. Not Satan knows everything. The vanilla's really good. I only took one sip of it because, like, I uh, don't drink sugar, really, but I wanted to try it. Oh, and you get more points if you answer faster. That makes sense. Chance. Just keep playing. Why? Why? Somebody still needs to tell me, like, why you would ever stop. You guys ruined it already. I have to go make some salsa for the chips we got. You're gonna make some salsa? That's pretty dope, dude. I haven't had homemade salsa in a long ass time. 
Uh, what did Moses throw when he saw the golden calf? Uh, is there like the tablets of stone, a spear, his wallet, a rock? I don't know, the tablets of stone. Or probably not. The, the Switch has Trivia Pursuit? That's pretty dope. Hello, hello, everyone. We're back. I went ahead and uh, loaded the game while we were on break, because why not? Welcome back, stream. Hope you had a peaceful respite. If you ever feel lost after a long rest, you might want to speak to your fellow party members for advice. Great goddess, may you watch over and protect this poor child. Oh god, I definitely need it, man. Like me, personally. Not the dude in game me, but actual me. I'm a bit of a lost cause, though, let's be honest. That's fine. <laughs> let's get some uh, healing herbs. I'm sure there's a lot to be found. Maybe creatures can drop some or something. But, hey, did you see the green monster? I wish I'd seen it too. I've never seen a monster before. He's not a monster, my guy. He's actually a king, uh, I think. <laughs> maybe? I'm not positive. He was just like a jester. I thought maybe some kind of traveling entertainment. But there's something creepy about him. I was a lot more worried about him than about that funny looking monster we had in here before, that's for sure. Because he wasn't a monster. <laughs> All right. Uh, medicinal herbs, please. I would like to buy uh, five. God, that kind of hurts. Yes. Uh, the bag will carry them. And we'll also buy one Chimera ring, uh, wing. Also the bag. You hopefully won't actually need the Chimera wing again, but you never know, dude. I don't know about... Uh, I don't know about this Dragon Quest game, but I know like the older ones did require some amount of grinding, especially in the beginning. I presume it's not so different in this game. Um, I just kind of wanted to move stuff. Shit, Square takes you instantly out of the menu. Guess I can't really move things, can I? Maybe under the organize item thing. Uh, okay. Transfer one to youngest. That way we both have one. Oh god, I almost used the fucking herb. Oh wait, and then the N would probably give us a full heal, right? I mean, that's how ends work in most JRPGs at least. The N was down here. I'm getting there. I'll remember eventually. Uh, right here by the burned down house. Get that nice uh, wood smoke smell while you're having a nap in here. Hello, good sir. Would you like to spend the night or just rest for a while? In either case, I can offer you a rate of six gold. Uh, I guess stay overnight until the morning. I'm, I'm assuming... What? What's this about? What's he working on in there? Huh? Anyways, I'm assuming that like uh, going out at night, there would be harder creatures to deal with. Hence why I, I'm resting till morning. I'm a little curious what the hell Trode was doing. Is that, it looked like a metal urn almost or something. Mr. Noodle, thank you again for another five bits, love. I appreciate you, and every little bit helps. Okay. So fresh and so clean, clean. Wait, did you get your shower? Candy cats, let's go. Uh, just attack. Yes. Good for you, love. I'm glad you're nice and clean now. You were a little stinky before. <laughs> joking. I'm joking. You had one little mishap? What'd you do? But it was good? Wait, what? You had a good mishap? How'd you have a good mishap? Four experience, four gold. But we need to make some gold, man. We gotta pay for all them herbs we bought. The shower was good. Mishap bad. What was the mishap, though? 
especially if the shower itself was good. What what happened that was bad? <laughs> you turned the hot knob the wrong way and almost froze yourself. Oh no. Is that why you were complaining about being cold? Like, did you hop out of the shower and message us about being cold? I still don't know why you're cold. The house isn't that cold today. You just now got out of the shower? Can't wait until we at least get a healing spell. Like, I'm sure other magic will be useful, like... But a healing spell is where it's at, man. That's what we need right now. Hey, there we go. I finally leveled up. Maximum HP increases by three, MP increases by five. Uh, got a bunch of attribute points. Hey, new spell heal, let's go. <laughs> Perfect fucking timing, dude. Uh, kinda mad that we just wasted all that money on the, the healing herbs. I mean, I'm sure they'll come in handy, but I'm probably gonna finish the game with way too many healing herbs. Oh, dude, there's the fucking, the, the, the waterfall too. Excellent. So maybe last time we just came out of the wrong damn door was the problem. I wonder if this game's gonna do that thing where like, hey, medicinal herb, cool. As you level up, um, weaker and weaker creatures stop appearing, at least as much. I don't know if it does that or not, but that is one mechanic that I kind of like in game. I don't really like level scaling in games, but I don't mind so much when turn-based games, whenever like the super weak encounters don't appear as much once you, once you level up a lot. Looks like we found it. Naturally, I'd love to come in with you, but I couldn't possibly put Medea in danger. I'm sure you'll do a fine job of finding the crystal ball without a stream. We'll be waiting here. You be careful in there, though. Thanks, my guy. You were cold while loading the dishwasher. I'm sorry, love. I... So I really didn't think it was cold today. No map. Get a bit of a view, though. I feel like... The world for as large as it is, I wish we had like a, a way to run a little bit faster. Oh God, man, the controls here. I'm gonna have to uninvert the controls and then just like use the R1 and L1 or something to turn the camera. Settings, camera, Standard, standard. I am a little bit curious about what the game would look like in 16 by 9, but... The game did come with one other thing. Because uh, I bought, like, the complete in-box copy. A Mecha Mina? Anyways, it also came with a uh, Final Fantasy XII demo disc, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh, that was a crit. Hell yeah. That's actually really good because we seem to do next to no damage to these guys. I don't know how much health they have, but... Okay, so I'm guessing that's haste. Yeah, increases agility. Uh, again. You don't have enough MP for that. Though. Okay, so they don't have very much health at least. We don't deal much damage, but they don't have much health, so... Oh, uh, before I forget... Is this better now? Yeah, up is down now. Down is up. Left is left. Right is right. Why, when you invert the controls on the overworld map, like, this view and the overworld, or the regular view, the third-person view, have two different sets of controls? That's so weird. Unless... No, it's the same on the right and left stick. That's so weird. It's fucking bizarre, man. But oh well, I can I can get used to using R1 L1 for look. And in third person view, I can't imagine we'll have to move the camera up and down all that much. Map of the waterfall cave, let's go. That's very helpful. View the map. Okay, less helpful than I thought it might be because there's absolutely nothing here. Basically one path to the end. 
We're definitely gonna go the long way around though. Chrono Triggers, welcome to the chat, dude. Hello. Slimes are, are nothing at this point. Love this game, how's it going? Well, I mean, we're only, what, an hour? We've only been playing for like an hour and a half. Uh, but I love Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3. This is my first, like, 3D Dragon Quest game. My first time playing this one as well. But so far, it's really good. I mean, I, I expected to like it, though, again, since I played 1, 2, and 3 and really enjoyed those. Hello, random person in the cave. Came to look at the waterfall and I stumbled upon this cave. A waterfall cave. It's so intriguing. I was trying to explore, but I've gone and got myself completely lost. Okay. I mean, the exit's like right back that way. It's kind of hard to get lost here. Should play Dragon Quest V if you want to see what this evolved from. But this entry alone is a goat. I've heard really good things about Dragon Quest VIII. Um, and then I'm doing the whole thing trying to collect all the PlayStation 2 games and play them on stream. Or at least try them out on stream. So, like, it just made sense. So, whenever I saw it, complete in box, even with the cardboard sleeve and everything, I was like, I gotta I gotta go ahead and grab it now uh, while it's here in front of me. And, uh, yeah, decided to try it out tonight. Really having fun with it. Dragon Quest V, that was on... That was on what? the Would, would that have been the Super Nintendo? For Dragon Quest V? Yeah. SNES. Okay. I thought so, but I couldn't remember for sure. If you have any questions about this game or just doing the whole thing blind with no backseating or assistance. If I'm like stupid lost, just in general, any game I'm playing, if I'm stupid lost, I'm perfectly fine with a little bit of like assistance, you know, tips and tricks, stuff like that. Uh, the only thing that I don't like are, are spoilers for what I feel like is obvious reasons. Um... And sadly, right now, we won't be completing the game. I 100% plan on completing this game eventually on stream. Uh, but right now, we're trying to play through all of uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2 is what we're finishing up right now on stream. I need to heal. This will, er, uh, might as well use it. We have the heal spell, but... Might as well get rid of those herbs. Save a couple of them in case we run out of MP, but use the rest up. Oh, the enemies can psych themselves up too. I did not know that. Hopefully we can kill that mole before it attacks. Because I imagine it's going to do a uh, lot of damage if we don't. What do I normally play? Uh, on stream right now, we're mostly playing PlayStation 2 stuff because of the whole... Guys, I hate how Streamlabs spam sometimes. I have it set to space it out, but, like, the way this it works, it's dumb. Anyways, uh, right now I am trying to play... I'm mostly playing PlayStation 2 games because, like I said, I'm trying to collect them all and try them out on stream. Um, so that's most of the time we're playing something PlayStation 2 related. Uh, one day a week, right now, that day is on Wednesdays. We actually try to beat a game or work on beating a game. Uh, and then on Fridays, I either play RimWorld or uh, Civ 6 at the moment. That could change at some point, but that's what we're doing right now. Have I ever heard of Retro Achievements? I have, actually. Uh, retro Achievements is really cool, but I... Uh, I'm playing everything on real hardware, which, sadly, Retro Achievements doesn't work with real hardware. It'd be awesome if they found out a way to make that work, but I don't I don't think that's going to happen. Um, okay, so we actually get to allocate some skill points. I didn't know that was a thing. So axes, clubs, scythes, fisticuffs. I don't believe Yangus, I don't actually know how to pronounce his name, um, is going to be using his fists. He seems to like clubs. You suggest humanity. You can't respec. That sucks. Skill for enhancing your empathy and ability to help your comrades. At the highest level, you may find yourself assisted by some unlikely allies. Okay, so that's like if you want to be a assist style character to give buffs to other people. I don't know their skill trees at all, so I'm just going to have to go with your suggestion. 16 points in that are essential. 
Okay, so it's good to get those early in the game. Those 16. So I'll take your word for it, because I know nothing about the skill trees in this game or anything. Hell, I didn't even know that that was a mechanic in this game. The ability to uh, add skill points to specific... Well, skills. <laughs> That's a pretty rock. I thought it was a tree for a second, but no, it's just a rock with some moss growing on it. We have a chest hidden behind it. No. No chests. Okay, that's fine. Mischievous Maw. I should have checked my health before we got any. Oh, that's not too bad. Give you the ability to note how much treasure is left in an area. Oh, that's sick. Like this dungeon. Okay. Wait, the, the 16 points in humanity gives you that? Or just like the game in general eventually gives you that ability? And for here, try eight points in courage. My memory is terrible. I'm probably going to forget that, but I will try to remember that. Hopefully when I like <laughs> that pops up and I see it, hopefully that'll that'll trigger it. You know, remind me. <laughs> okay, so next level. Are we trying to get down to the bottom? I'm assuming we just need to get as deep as we can. A skipper and a fire spirit. <laughs> the enemy designs in this game so far are killing me, dude. Like the the lips one that popped up, and uh, then the uh, the two the two peppers that were <laughs> shish kebab together. And now we got a a sprite of some sort in a boot. <laughs> like, it's just okay. It's a little out there, but I love it. Oh, that hurt. Capsicum plus chums equals capsic... Capsic... Cap I can't say. <laughs> I can't. Those two words just don't work together. <laughs> Caps <of> chums. <laughs> oh. Out of MP. Why would you try to cast a spell if you don't have MP? Doesn't seem like the smartest thing in the world. Level four, so does that mean I get to do my uh, skill points now? Got the squelch spell. spell. So courage, huh? Allows you to learn techniques and spells that require bravery. At the highest level, you will command an unshakable resolve in the face of any foe or situation. Very cool. Capsicum is the vegetable part cut up and put into salad or kebab. Oh, okay, okay. I know, like, uh, capsaicin is what makes peppers hot, so I figured it had something to do with peppers, the name did, but I didn't know that was the, uh, the name of the, the flesh, I guess. Somebody blocking the way down here. More fire spirits. They don't seem too bad. That's the mini boss. Gotcha. Oh, you don't have to fight him, really? I didn't expect that. It's just fighting him to test your strength. Good idea. I probably would have anyways, to be honest. I should have healed. How much health does he have left? I think like eight or something. Uh, he'll probably be fine. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, you got autoed. You did. I'm allowing it. If you fail to beat him easily, then you might consider wanting to leave the dungeon and take time to level up more. Yeah, I was actually mentioning that earlier. I don't know, again, with the newer games, but I know with, like, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3, a bit of a grind every now and then was expected. Kind of weird automa that. It really is. It flagged the word beat specifically, which, I mean, I guess I get, but context, you know? 
And with video games and things like that, the word beat would come up a lot. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Twitch is weird sometimes. Uh, view, use, you. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, dude. I appreciate that. Exit out of the menu here and try out this mini boss. Probably get our ass kicked, but that's fine. You are a mushroom with a hammer? <laughs> well, well, you must really be brave to come up and talk to me like this. A man that looked like a peddler came along earlier, but when he saw me, he ran away without saying a word. Anyway, as you probably realize, you'll have to fight me if you want to go any farther. Brave enough for that, are you? Yes. Whenever you play this long term, I'll come back to help out a bit. I appreciate it. I really do. You are brave. That means you must be a good fighter. I know. In recognition of your bravery, I'm going to let you through. Oh. Off you go. Be careful now. Wait, what? <laughs> Can I fight you? Do you by any chance think I'm a bit of a wimp? Well, I'm not, I tell you. If you don't believe me, why don't you try your luck and fight me? Yes, let's go ahead and see if we get our asses kicked. Th then I suppose it's decided, let's fight. He doesn't seem too sure about that himself. Hammerhood draws near. Uh, What does Squelch actually do? I don't remember. Heals poison, okay. It's been a long time since I've played the other Dragon Age games. 11 points of damage. That kind of hurt, not gonna lie. We could use a crit or two. Uh, don't psych yourself up. That's, that's bad. <laughs> I'd prefer if you didn't do that, my guy. Yep, 17. That hurt too. And sadly, he seems to have more agility than us. Which means he may kill... Oh, wait. I don't have enough MP? Oh, well, shit. Uh, I guess it's a good thing I kept some healing herbs around. Oh! He failed! <laughs> Take that, Hammer Hood. Oh, shit. He was, like, dead anyways. This private member receives 22 experience points and 9 gold coins. Let's go, dude. Do you give me anything for kicking your ass? Oh, wait, do you just, like, die? I don't want you to die. You seem pretty cool. Y you caught me off guard. <laughs> but I suppose you won fair and square. Go on. You can pass. Thanks, little dude. <laughs> he just passes back out. Uh, since we have no MP, we must not have stayed at the inn after we started gaining MP. Uh, let's go ahead and throw another healing herb and streams I didn't mean to use it that was stupid let's go ahead and take it though I don't know I wonder if the chimera wing works in dungeons or not because we may need to go back to town just to get some uh some heals going on and restock on some supplies I imagine the stairs down is the way we actually want to go but I'm going to go ahead and uh, go the other direction first because I don't know habit uh, did the skipper do more damage than the moles he slows us down which is annoying but let's go Knock him the hell out. Uh, okay, yeah, the skipper does deal some damage, but... Psyching himself up. Hopefully we knock him out before he has a chance to use it. Get fucked. Six damage there, yeah. Maybe we should have taken the skipper out first. That sucks. I like when they miss. I don't like when I miss. <laughs> Skipper definitely has more health, too, which is not good for us. Hey, another level up. I like that. HP by 4, MP by 3. 
bunch of uh, ability points and three more skill points. Wait, do we get skill points every level up now? We might. I think uh, Chrono Trigger said 12 is what we were aiming for. Youngest's humanity increases. He becomes soft-hearted and learns a whistle. What does that do? Can we see the abilities from here? Not tactics. Hmm. I guess whenever, uh, whenever we get into battle next, we can check it out there. Slurp, guess what? This passage is a dead end. Do you believe me? No. Why not? That's so mean. Now I feel blue. You don't? Then there's no point in me telling you anything. Have a nice adventure. Bye-bye. Oh. Just forget I didn't really expect you to believe me anyway, Slurp. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> he's, he's really not going to... We hurt his feelings. He's really not going to tell us anything now. And I, I kind of feel like he's telling the truth now. Just because of how offended he got when we told him uh, that we didn't believe him. Uh, probably should have healed before we got into this battle. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And you're already out of MP. Get wrecked. Go ahead and use our last free healing herb. Yongus is going to need one real suit, too. Oh, well. I mean, even though it's a dead end, I, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not or couldn't be the right way to go. Copper sword. Is that better than whatever we have? Copper sword, attack 13. Transfer to here. No, don't equip because I don't know if it's actually better. No, it's not. Okay, that does 20. Wait. Is there a way to see... No, not from here at least. Okay, so the copper sword is better then. Now, can Yangus use swords, or is he limited to clubs? Looks like he's actually limited to clubs, because it's got a little X on it. Cannot be equipped, yeah. Okay. That's fine. I mean, he can carry it around anyways. So there you go. It was a dead end, but it was a useful dead end. We got a nice uh, attack upgrade from it. My headphones are dying. And of course, I unplugged the charging cable that I always use for it. Uh, we might have done one extra point of damage <laughs> with our with our new fancy copper sword. Maybe. Surprised that neither one of them tried to use their uh their their frizz spell to deal some some quick damage. The hero should be leveling up soon. I mean he is a little bit behind Yangus because of the whole dying thing, but shouldn't be that far behind. Wow, you got the treasure? Was it any good? I've been wondering what was inside that chest for ages. I did, actually. So I wonder if we told him that we believed him that it was a dead end, if he would have told us it's a dead end, but there happens to be a chest down there. Uh, attack. And then we forgot to see abilities. Hasn't learned any abilities. Spells? Oh. Okay. So he learned whistle, but we can't use it? Maybe that's like a uh, overworld only thing? Very little damage from the bubble slime, but just 
going off of his uh, design, I'm thinking he might have the ability to poison. Get one skipper down. Still have 18 health with Yongus. That's not too bad. 17 with him. Down to 10. So we're getting into the danger zone very quickly. I think we'll be okay from one more round before we have to start healing. Oh. How much health does the bubble slime have? I'm going to risk it. I think we're okay. 10 damage, and he's dead. Let's go. Increases to level 5. Awesome. Lots of stuff. Strength, agility, resilience, and two more skill points. Courage. Why not? So, okay. We definitely need to heal now. If we don't heal now, we're gonna die. For sure. Use... And shit, not square. X X U uh, use on Yongus. Now we can square. Hopefully, this stairs down is like right there's the crystal ball. Because if it's not, we are for sure gonna have to go back to town for some heals. MP regen and some heals. Can we read the sign? Waterfall ahead. No littering. Is that... Is the crystal ball litter? Did someone, did someone just, like, illegally dump the crystal ball in the waterfall? This does look like the end. Are there... Are there random encounters down here, though? There are. Uh, okay. These guys aren't too bad. But since we don't have any MP, that could be a problem. Because we don't have MP to use heals, and we don't have any healing herbs left. It would have been nice if uh, those Mecha Minas, Minas would have dropped a Chesser Chest with some, some healing herbs. I'm just waiting for an area boss to pop up, the dungeon boss. Because it's looking like a straight shot right to the crystal ball, and I, I just can't imagine it being that easy. I mean, it is the first dungeon, so maybe it is meant to be that easy, but I'm feeling like that's a no, man. Five experience, four gold, crystal ball, maybe? As soon as we pick it up, we're going to get attacked by something. Crystal ball is suspended in the air. That's not weird. Just a random floating orb. Perfectly normal. Yep. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Surprise! Surprise! Meet Giza. I am the master of this waterfall. Oh, how long has she been? How many people have gone and come? Ten long years and more. I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left. One, I mean, the right one to come. But enough with the introductions. Now, for the moment of Moose. This guy speaks English about as well as I do. Does this Bristol call Crystal Ball belong to you? Uh, no. No? You were the one. No, I'm just I'm just here collecting it for a friend, my guy. Oh, long, lonely years. Go then. My wait continues. 
Wait, are we not going to take it because we said it didn't belong to us? <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we just have to lie to the guy and be like, yeah, you know what? I was joking. It does belong to me now. What? You again? I, Giza, am the master of this waterfall, I tell you. Oh, how long has she been? Ten long years. Now, okay, so it's just the same text again. This Bristol call? Yes. <laughs> At last. <laughs> At last we fit mace to mace. You half wit human. Now I'll uh... teach you a moron. Arrow thoughts. I mean, a lesson you won't forget. I think he might, that like little, that little scar that he's got on his head there. I think he might have been, been bumped on the head just a little bit too hard with that, man. <laughs> with whatever caused that. What items do we actually have? You have a medicinal sword, or herb still. Can we actually use the soldier sword, like, as an item? I don't want to risk it, but... Okay, at least we're doing nine damage per attack. That seems decent. What's he gonna do? Cursed mist. Is that poison? What'd the curse do? Twenty-two. What? <laughs> Holy hell, dude. Okay. Um, attack, and I guess medicinal herb, dude. Okay, he's dead. That's good. Uh, <laughs> as far as I know, I don't have any items that can heal or bring people back to life. I don't have any MP anyways. The only thing I can do is just attack and hope I don't just instantly die. I don't think he can do... Ooh, what was that? Okay. 14. Oh, wait, he goes first. He's faster than I am. Yeah, I think we're dead. Oh, shit, we don't have any items on him anyways. Oh, God, yeah, we're we're dead. Yep, GG. That's game over. <laughs> the party is wiped out. Fitting, I guess. It's going to be a cliffhanger for whenever we actually do finish the game. When far from civilization, if all party members fall in battle, your gold coins will be halved. Oh... Okay, so we don't actually, like, game over. Actually, was it like that in the original game? I think it... I don't remember. Great goddess, may you watch over and protect this poor child. Did you automatically revive both characters? You did, with full health. Okay, so I mean, it sucks that we lost half our gold. But it's not the end of the world. We still have 120, which is something. Either way, though, it is 2.30, which means that it is time to call it for the night. Uh, as I've mentioned before, a couple of times before at this point, this game is 100% going on the list of games that we are going to try and uh, beat on stream. Uh, after we beat Metal Gear Solid, I want to do at least one shorter game just to have something kind of in between the longer games. And then this one will be eligible to, uh, to be played, to be finished. So hopefully soon. I've been wanting to play this game for a long time. So, fingers crossed, the votes come in for it, and uh, and the, the RNG gods bless us with some Dragon Quest Eight, all 80-plus hours of it. You're getting ready to come up anyways, Noodle? Well, perfect timing then, love. <laughs> anyways, guys, everyone who came and hung out with me for a little bit, I do appreciate it. Noodle, Nate, Silence, uh, anyone else that, that maybe um, came in and hasn't said a whole lot. Chrono Triggers for joining the first time, if you can still hear, thank you as well. And I will see you guys Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday with some more PS2, whatever the RNG gods pick. Until then, though, have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Play tri Trivia Pursuit? I've seen it, but I've never played it. Hey, not Satan got 300 points because everybody else is stupid. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, no, if I'll try it. I was just curious what flavor it was, Noodle.
you literally just use